story and more coronavirus cases overnight. We do have team coverage this morning. Michelle Choi is live at Harris County Public Health with the call for passengers on an overseas flight that may have been exposed to the coronavirus. But first, we go to breaking news with Janelle Fort. She's live outside of the St. Episcopal, St. Thomas Episcopal. Uh, Janelle, we're told the school was closed for two weeks. Yeah, Xavier, administrators made the call yesterday after finding out that one of the students here may have been exposed to COVID-19. So to be safe, they're shutting down the campus for the next two weeks. Details about that student right now, very limited. We don't know much and we're still working to learn how that student may have been exposed to the virus. Matt Schwartz is the assistant city editor for the Houston Chronicle. He says his kid attends the school in a series of tweets. He said he's not too worried about the possible exposure and says he wouldn't be surprised if other schools do the same thing out of an abundance of caution. But he also noted that this is bound to create a lot of anxiety for the 600 kids who go to school here and their families. Now, school officials say that they plan to release more details about this later on today. And this all comes as we have a new case here in Harris County. And Michelle, now health officials are asking for folks to come forward who have been on a specific flight from Italy. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right, Janelle. That's because a woman who'd been living abroad in Italy, which, as you guys know, is a coronavirus hotspot, recently returned home to Southwest Harris County on that flight, got sick and tested presumptive positive. Now, in a rare move, Harris County Public Health officials released her flight information. Take a good look at your screens right now if you believe you might have been on this flight. We're told the woman who's been who's between 20 to 30 years old sat in the business and first class section. If you believe you may have been around her, health officials are asking you to self isolate and immediately contact the health department. This case now brings the total number of coronavirus cases here in the Houston area to 14. The Houston Museum of Natural Science has also asked 35 travelers, including two of their staff members to self quarantine just to be safe after coming back from a trip to Egypt that began February 24th and ended on Monday. It's important to note this is separate from the coronavirus cases we've been reporting connected to a cruise trip to Egypt. Four of those patients have been released from the hospital in good health. Now we've also learned to be safe for uh, Houston Chronicle employees are currently in self isolation after attending a journalism conference in New Orleans last weekend where someone tested presumptive positive for the coronavirus. We're told those four staffers did return to work briefly. Brandy. Michelle, thank you. We're sharing facts, not fear about the coronavirus. And one of the things you've heard a lot about and asked plenty of questions about is self quarantine. So the CDC is asking people to do that if they're believed to have been exposed to the virus but don't have any symptoms. So what does that look like? Basically, it's staying home for 14 days. The CDC says symptoms come on anywhere between two days and 12 days after exposure. So that's why there's that 14 day requirement. In that time, you want to avoid public areas. If you do have to go out, keep at least six feet between you and other people. You're also asked to wear a mask around anyone else. It's important that you clean and disinfect any high touch areas. So we're talking about counters, tabletops, phones, remotes, anything you use a lot. And be sure not to share any dishes, utensils, towels. Once you use any of those things, you need to wash them thoroughly with soap and water. And a reminder, we have a whole lot more on our website. You can go to khu.com slash coronavirus.